everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hotline Mode. And today on Hotline Mode, we are coming to you with a reaction to Molly May's Closet Tour. Now listen, if you do not know about the British influencer and reality TV star Molly May, from my understanding and according to Love Island expert and artist Tammy Danso, she very much was part of an iconic season of Love Island. I only watched the first one, at least of the UK. I never watched any of the others because like certain reality TV shows in the UK should stay there and should not be exported around the world i.e. skins. Never forget. I have to talk about Molly May's closet tour because there's a lot going on. People have been asking for me to do it. She also was a creative director of Pretty Little Thing. There's a lot to unpack here. But before we get any further into the video, I want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. I've been doing phone therapy for years now and it's so convenient in case something comes up. And for me, something always comes up. And that also means there's no last minute mad dashes to in-person appointments, which I've done many times, and no mulling about in uncomfortable waiting rooms, which is the bane of my existence. And I always say that therapy in the beginning is like dating. You have to be able to click with your therapist, but if your therapist isn't the right fit for you for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. Now with BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom picked for you, more scheduling flexibility and at an affordable price. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash hotlamode or by clicking the link in my description box below. So thank you to BetterHelp and let's get on with the video. Again, like please don't judge my headphones. This is the only way that this works. You cannot, I mean, you can judge, but like the plugins is the only way that we get the screen recording to match up. I'm really sorry, it's just, the way that it is, I apologize. But without further ado, let's get into this little closet tour reaction. <laughs> that was my stomach, not my bum. <laughs> hey. Wow, okay, we're moving and grooving. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, darling, how are you, sweetie? Wow. So as you can see, it's gonna be my dream wardrobe tour. Wow, yay, woohoo. I haven't done a closet tour in a long time. Looking at her bracelets, one is a Van Cleef, an Arbel. Two of them are Cardia Love bracelets, but I'm just noticing. Okay, the wardrobe preview, here we go. Okay, a book, we got some sneakers, we got a key ball, we got some Bottega, we got a suitcase. Some Chanel flap bags, some Dior saddles. Let's, Joe Malone's sunglasses, earrings. Yeah, so we'll causes. start here. This is my wardrobe room. I'm gonna go through in sections, it's but cute. first I will. So here we have my dressing table area. I was just okay. telling my. There's a little Louis Vuitton vanity case and the monogram on the bottom. There's a Louis Vuitton book there. That book was not that expensive, it's 90 pounds. I'm sure that that book has never been opened as I feel like most of these ones have. And oh, there's the Yves Saint Laurent catwalk book too. And I bet you that one definitely has not been opened. But the Bote Chapeau little bag, which is essentially a hat bag that Nicolas Jasquier invented has sort of minimized it in this fashion. It's also in that inverse monogram color. So instead of it being the dark brown as the base and the light brown as the actual monogram, it's been reversed. So that's there too. We are clocking our basic little elements here. The off-white pillow, R.I.P. Virgil, but you know, it's an off-white pillow. I had originally planned to cover this up as well and have this as wardrobe space, but I just felt like with absolutely no natural light in this room, it might feel a little bit claustrophobic and a little bit stuffy. So we just feel like a walk-in closet usually doesn't ever feel claustrophobic. Just saying. So probably my most oh, the lighting magically got better. One of the most exciting parts of this wardrobe is this little gym section. Okay. That Finally in the clothing. Woohoo. When Tommy came in the other day and saw this dressing room for the first time, he was like, I love how you have a whole section dedicated to gym clothes when you don't even go to the gym. And I was like, it's fair. I mean, we all have a gym clothes section that is it really used 
miles. Here I have all of my sports leggings um, all displayed. They uh -huh. are colour coordinated. More <laughs> different colours of sports bras up here too. I love in the winter wearing gym jackets that zip up. I especially love the Gymshark ones, the Lululemon ones. Well, you're English. I mean, like, you can take the girl out of the UK, but you can't take the trackie off the girl. Well, to be honest, guys, I never wear those trainers. I don't know what I thought when I was buying those trainers. Nice trainers. Personally, I don't really see trainers, sneakers that have colors like that as like attractive. I don't know, like I see sometimes men walking down the street and they're wearing like these bright colorful sneakers for running and I'm like, no offense, like you look dumb. You look dumb. Fashion ick is, if you have sneakers, white, black, gray, easy. You know what I mean? Like otherwise I don't really want to see your like bright, over the top, meh, meh, run. You know what I mean? You should be so fast, I shouldn't even see what color your sneakers are. That's how I feel. This section is for my leggings that I can wear to the gym. And these leggings, I can't wear to the gym. So brands like Adenola, these leggings are more for just like day to day. So like a pair of leggings I've got on now, you can't wear these to the gym. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing. We all know that, right? There's there's technical fabrics, and then there's comfy fabrics. I mean, I'm sure you could wear them to the gym, but like, it's a question, I guess, of do you want to wear those to the gym? Because I wouldn't really want to sweat in these. Uh, but then I also wouldn't want to wear a pair of these gym leggings day to day. So these are my casual leggings. Um, we've got them color coordinated again. And then we also- I always forget how much leggings are a part of women's, or some women's wardrobes, I shouldn't generalize. We have t-shirts here. These got are just like casual t-shirts. You guys know I love my baggy t-shirts. I wear them pretty much every single day through winter, through summer. So yeah, I have a massive- We are really spending a lot of time in this gym wardrobe for somebody that does not go to the gym. Just one sec. So yeah, that's my t-shirt collection. Okay. So here is my little set. Molly would love if you would pull something out for me. I don't know if you've ever watched a Hot Little Mug Closet Tour reaction, but like pulling stuff out, you know, explaining a little bit in detail, very helpful. The first thing I noticed when I came into my dressing room was how high the rails were. Oh gosh, my talk about a stool for how long? Like I said about Moving on. I'm just gonna skim past this section here because I'm not a massive shorts lover. As you guys know, I don't really wear shorts that okay. often. Bags to keep my bikinis in. So when I do go on holiday with Tommy or I have trips or whatever I can just literally skim through the bikinis so easily and pick out the ones and then I can even put them in my suitcase in the bags which keeps it really super organized so I absolutely love that little touch then yeah I get it you know what I mean like otherwise they just get balled up then you're trying to dig through and find matching ones and maybe they don't match you know I, I get it I get it one of my favorite things to wear ever is a blazer I'm blazer obsessed and here in the main I don't know why I think it's funny, but like low key, I think it's funny. I don't know. I feel like Molly May fits in with that sort of like influencer aesthetic where it's like very relatable, very something I would not enjoy to watch on Instagram and or see on Instagram. But hey, oversized blazer core, OBC. It's a thing. People live, they laugh, they love for it. So let's see. Section of my wardrobe, I have some of my favorite blazers that I reach for most days displayed. And yeah, I have them displayed here. Then underneath, I have. Why don't you pull a blazer out, babe? That would be great. Would love that. Would be so nice. With this book stand, it took me about an hour to put it together when it's literally just two pieces of plastic that slot in. I just couldn't work it out. I was sat there like it was literally blowing my mind. It was like- I get it's like relatable because we all have our moments, but like they don't really invite the people on Love Island because they're smart. They're attractive. That's all they really have to be. If they're smart, it's a plus. Oh, bear brick. It's either brick bear or bear brick. I can't remember. We're spending way too much time on these random statues more than we're spending on the clothing and I need but the clothing. But the other sections of this main part, I have smaller tops in there. I also got this really cool pill. Why? 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 Just show me a blazer. Show me the kind of blazers you like to wear. Please. It would be so helpful. I think it's from a designer called Jonathan Adler. I got it on Farfetch. I actually saw my friend M -M -M Mitchell have one on his coffee table and I really, really liked it. So I copied him. She has the yeah. mm -m 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 really down. In there, and then I had dresses in there. But as you guys know, I'm not really a dress kind of gal. So I've only got a few dresses displayed in there. Or are they dresses? Because I can't tell. I can't tell you haven't pulled one goddamn thing out. So... Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite parts There's of the wardrobe. I just let the boys pan out a little sweats. bit so you guys can see the colors. That's I'm a lot of sweatshirts. Colors. That's almost like a little bit too many sweatshirts. Right. It's so a little too much. In this section, we have my more colorful hoodies accompanied with some lovely cat hair on, as you can see. A lint roller is something that is very close to my heart now with having a white kitten. I have a black lab. I understand this struggle. It's very unfair. I don't even live where Henry lives. I live 
totally different place and somehow I travel with his fur. My obsession is hoodies. Hoodies that you can put under blazers, even better when you can wear them together. I mean like, I'm not saying that it doesn't look good sometimes, but like, this video is from 11 months ago. I think hoodie under blazer thing, that was like a year or two ago. You know what I mean? I'm not saying don't, I'm just saying don't promote it. Yeah, with my black ones, I've got my gray hoodies. I know I've never, this is probably the most boring closet tour I think we've watched yet. I'm, I'm dying inside. Um, and then in here we have my nude hoodies and jumpers as well. So this here- I'd rather she like talk about Pretty Little Thing or whatever. I literally donated so much stuff to charity shop. It was obscene. Like I had maybe 20 bin bags full of clothes that I- That's disturbing. It's like not even a fun fact I want to know. I'm like, you concern me. 20 trash bags full of clothes. I get it but I don't want to get it. You shouldn't get it. Long story short, it'll end up in a landfill. For what? An Instagram post? Please. 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 I like don't even think this is funny or cute. I think it's very unenjoyable. I just didn't need any more. I'd say 50% of that was probably made up of jeans. 50? But you had 10 bags of goddamn jeans? Like, are we hearing ourselves? I don't know if we're hearing ourselves because we really probably should. That's really disturbing and unenjoyable. Well, I don't need that many. So the jeans I have here, I actually do wear. I have a couple of pairs of dark jeans and some blue jeans and then my lighter jeans, which are good for summer. Then in here, I actually have, if you've seen- It's like maybe, maybe 15 pair of jeans at the tippy top. It's not a, it might be a bar of soap. I, I don't know. I think these are actually specifically designed to keep your clothes smelling nice. You know what? I think like at this point, I'm really starting to see, maybe it's because she's the creative director of Pretty Little Thing or whatever. It's like how little she values clothing. Like she can't really talk about them. She can't really like highlight any of the stuff in here that's actually intriguing. She loves that she wears. It's like everything revolves around shit that is sitting in a closet that's not the clothing. And I just find that very interesting to examine, you know, the psyche of somebody that is totally content making so much clothing that you're selling for such cheap amounts of money that in reality is really like going to just destroy the planet. Like it's, it's just, kind of, I think this is like really clear to me. I absolutely live in joggers. I don't know why this drawer is quite small with my joggers because I thought I had a much bigger collection than this, but. I'm really. We need to move on. Now I'm going to talk you through my shoe section. Right. So I'm now oh, going to talk oh. you through my shoe section. I've done this from back to front because to be honest, at the part the I guess that I will find interesting. I guess. Years, which it is now. They knew that we bring in like rails in here. And I'm going like, to like, blow my brains out. All right, shoe section. Just like okay. it looks like a tent. Just ignore it. There's wire sticking. There's a lot of it that isn't really finished. Like through there is our master ensuite bathroom. But yeah, I'll talk you through my shoe section and just ignore anything you can see. Oh, uh, we're not being quirky anymore. Talking She's gonna talk and I'm not really gonna wanna listen. She's not actually gonna highlight anything of any importance. I'm really like annoyed now. Okay, so we can see that there is a pair of the Bottega Veneta red stretch sandals. They're a leather that's almost woven. Crochet, I guess. I would say more so. It makes them cute, it makes them sort of summery, they're fun. There's a bunch of white, I believe. I believe actually that's two pairs of Bottega sandals as well. I don't really wear heels that much, so I'm not just gonna buy heels that sit nice on a shelf and I don't wear. I that's great, maybe do that with clothes. I've got a white pair, a black pair, a colored pair, and a nude pair. So really, for me, that's all I need in terms of heels for how little I actually wear them these days. Can we not highlight a goddamn shoe? Update, didn't know she got robbed, but. Highlight a shoe, please. Highlight a bag. Highlight a something. We then have my little bag collection up there. Which... All right. So these are pretty much Chanel flat bags. They're in that caviar leather. It looks like black, simple, easy, a little sort of turquoisey teal version, and this gray wool version. I actually think is kind of the most interesting, and in the fact that that C little gold chain with the leather weaving through. With that. Again, I'm so much Cute. happier now investing in my house and getting things to make the house look beautiful for Tommy and I rather than spending it on bags and shoes and things. So really this section is not that big. And then we have boots here. We have, these are some of my favorite boots. These are from Louis Vuitton. These I think were limited edition. Well, there's a reason for it. As Countess once said, even Louis Vuitton makes me sick. The Herman Munster boot, I don't know. It's, it's a goddamn Louis Vuitton boot with a monogram on it. And it's like, obviously you don't wear them. Obvious, very clear. Um, I have them the matching trainers to them as well, but I just absolutely love those boots so much. And then we also have taller boots down here as well. So I have my Givenchy boots here, which caused. 
Javonche, Javonche. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it in any accent. It doesn't matter. They're cute. Listen, like, I like a shark boot. They've grown on me over the years. This is the Matthew Williams version. They were literally put out when Ricardo Tushi was at Burberry, but they were relaunched. And essentially, what it is is it's the leather is folded over or there's an extra panel of leather. And essentially, it almost looks like you took a thigh high boot and sort of rolled it down. It's a cool design. It's really cool, intriguing sort of silhouette. You know, Kylie Jenner wore it. It's fun. It's nice. I appreciate that. This. Love them or they hate them. A lot of people say that they look like Tin Man shoes, but I absolutely love them. Good, Molly. I'm so happy that you highlighted one singular They're thing. They're really this cool. Whole time. I've also got them in nude. So, yeah, sorry if you're a hater of these boots. This is okay. actually. The Let's also talk I'm about this section. It's a lot of slides. There's a Bottega furry slide. It's green. It's that Bottega green from when Daniel Lee was there. There's Chanel slides. There's a lot of Louis Vuitton sort of furry ones with the big LV on it. The monogram sort of embossed. Dior monogram, because like all we know is monograms, I'm guessing. There's some Bottega bags, the pouch bag with the Interreccio sort of weave, which is really nice. And then the cassette bag is right next to it in that blue. At least she's buying Bottega bags. You know what I mean? I'm happy to see that. Those are good bags. Do you see the arch light? Louis Vuitton sneakers are on the top right up there. Is that a Prada bag in the middle in the Sherpa next to the Prada sneakers? Don't love the Prada sneakers, unfortunately. Oh, the Audrey, triple S is up top. Door, okay. You see this bag, it has a really special place in my heart because that's good. Because it's actually a bag that Fran bought me for my, I think it was my 22nd birthday, and I use it all the time. Maura actually bought these for me again for this was for my last birthday, my 23rd birthday. They are so beautiful. I just absolutely where are my friends buying me yeah. things like this? I like my friends, but I didn't know friends bought friends designer luxury goods for birthdays. Here we have... If they show up to a dinner, I'm content. The Prada bag I think is cute. I actually have that Prada bag. The one on the far right, the little sort of raffia tote. The clear one, it's okay, it's cute. I get it. Beach bag, it makes sense. The little wicker version I also think is cute. And then the one on the left, also cute. You know what I mean? I think in the next few weeks I'll probably switch out because obviously the colder months are coming. Thank you, Jesus. Because you guys, again, it's not extensive. I don't have a huge collection. But yeah, I no, really so good. She's like, I don't have a huge collection. I don't. I have nothing. It's not there. It doesn't exist. I'm not collecting. I'm not buying. Smart. So yeah, this is my Even if it's really not true, having smart. Having a little look around. Um, Even if it I'm is true, so it's so smart. I'm lucky to have this room. I've had four wardrobe rooms now. This is my fourth. And it's by far my most special and favorite because we're going to be here in this house for a really, really long time. So I wanted to make this one super special. But yeah, I hope you guys I didn't. Really, really enjoyed Thank you so it. much, Molly. Kind of a waste of time. It needs to be very short because... That was a flop. Okay, listen, it just like wasn't good. I don't really feel like she actually highlighted anything. She didn't really explain any of the clothing in any real detail. At most, it was surface level bullshit. And my thing is like, if you're gonna do a wardrobe tour, like pull out one or two pieces that are interesting to you in each section, even just one, it's fine. Even like in the leggings or the jackets or the hoodies, it's like, I get sort of skipping over that, but like the blazers, you talk about wearing blazers often. So like talk about the blazer. I understand that this like wasn't made for me, but as the viewer, I am bored. I understood what the wardrobe looked like from the initial shots, so I, I got it. But it's like there's that interesting blazer on the far left there. It's like even if it's, I don't know, a pretty little thing that you designed, like I'd like to know about it, you know what I mean? Like if you keep or have kept stuff from when you were a creative director, a pretty little thing like that would be interesting to see. I'm not doing my due diligence, and there are other videos where she explains stuff more in detail, like let me know. I, probably won't react to it because I'm very much so good. This is not fun. This is not enjoyable. I just do not like, do not like at all. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I didn't know. I should have watched the video beforehand, but we shall survive. Thank you to BetterHelp. Click that link in the description box below. I'll see you guys on the next video and TTYL.